thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 6 of The Origin of Freemasonry and Knights Templar by John R. Bennett. Dionysian Mysteries These mysteries were celebrated throughout Greece and Asia Minor, but principally in Athens, where the years were numbered by them. They were introduced in Greece in the year 1415 BC by the Egyptian colonists, many of whom, according to biblical chronology, went there as early as 1760 BC. These mysteries were instituted in honor of Bacchus, or as the Greeks called him, Dionysius. About 300 years afterwards, migration occurred. The immigrants carrying with them from Greece to Asia Minor the mysteries of Dionysius, before they have been corrupted by the Athians. In these mysteries, the murder of Dionysius by the Titans was commemorated, in which legend he is evidently identified with the Egyptian Osiris, who was slain by his brother Typhon. The ritual of Freemasonry preserves, in its central circle, the leading features of the Dionysian institution. Hiram and Dionysius are names representing and illustrating in their history and experience the same ideas. The initiation was a symbolical progress from the dark, dead, and frigid north to the refulgent east, a pilgrimage. The moral teaching of these mysteries was the same as that of the mysteries of Osiris. In the time of King Solomon, the ancient city of Tyre in Phoenicia was celebrated as the residence of King Hiram, and to that monarch, Solomon and his father David were greatly indebted for the assistance in the construction of the temple at Jerusalem. The inhabitants of Tyre were distinguished for their skills as artificers especially as workers in brass and other metals, and it is said to have been the principal seat of that skillful body of architects known as the Fraternity of Dionysian Architects. The priest of Bacchus or Dionysius, having devoted themselves to architectural pursuits, founded this society, which was exclusively confined to the privilege of erecting temples and other public buildings, they were linked together by the secret ties of the Dionysian mysteries into which they all had been initiated. They were distinguished by many peculiarities that strikingly assimilate it to our order. For the faculties of labor and government, they were divided into communities, each of which was governed by master and wardens. They employed in their ceremonial observations many of the implements which are still to be found among Freemasons and used like them, a universal language by which one brother could distinguish another in the dark as well as in the light, and serve to unite the members scattered over India, Persia, and Syria into one common brotherhood. The existence of this order entire at the time of the building of the Temple of Solomon is universally admitted, and Hiram, the widow's son, to whom Solomon entrusted the superintendence of the workmen, as an inhabitant of Tyre, was, very probably, one of its members. Hence, we may legitimately suppose that the Dionysian architects were sent by Hiram, king of Tyre, to assist King Solomon in the construction of the house he was about to dedicate to Jehovah, and that they communicated to their Jewish fellow laborers a knowledge of the advantages of their fraternity, and invited them to a participation in its mysteries and privileges. In the Union, however, the apocryphal legend of the Dionysians would naturally give way to the true legend of the Masons, which was unhappily furnished by a melancholy incident that occurred at the time. The latter part of this statement is, it is admitted, a mere speculation, but one that has met the approval of Lowry, Oliver, and our best writers, and although this connection between the Dionysian architects and the builders of King Solomon may not be supported by documentary evidence, the traditional theory is at least plausible and offers nothing that is absurd or impossible. If accepted, it supplies the necessary link which connects the pagan with the Jewish mysteries. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description.
thank you so very much.